Dairy products like milk, cheese, butter, and yogurt are staples in a healthy diet. Here in Louisiana, dairy is also big business. On this episode of Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures, we'll take you on a journey from pasture to plate as we explore Louisiana dairy. quality Louisiana dairy comes from happy cows. Raising happy cows is something a Louisiana dairy farmer knows all about, like Joy and Victor Womack, who operate the only dairy farm in East Baton Rouge Parish. My name is Joy Womack. I live on a dairy farm with my husband, Victor Womack, and my two sons. There's a lot to do on a dairy farm. It's not just dairying. You have to plant rye grass for the cows. You have to cut hay. You have to put hay up, you have to put mineral blocks out. You have to check the cows every day because somebody's always having a calf or somebody could have a problem. And if they have a problem, it comes first. That's a to-do list for every day of the year, rain or shine. Dairy farming is a family affair where all hands are on deck. A dairy life, you have to be a family, you have to be compassionate, and you have to get along with one another. If you can't get along with one another, it won't work. You all have to work together and you have to bond. It's a bonding thing. And you have to trust in each other. You have to have faith in each other. And when you say you're going to do something, you need to be responsible and do it. It's just part of your life. It's an everyday thing. You don't look at it as a business. You look at it as sort of like all your children. You just watch out of them and you take care of them and you want to make sure that everybody is taken care of in the proper way. Extracting milk from a cow is an entirely natural process that occurs twice a day on the Womack farm. As creatures of habit, grazing heifers gather at the dairy when they're ready to let their milk. When the gates are open, these cows will make their own way to the dairy to be milked. When I go in the store and I see the milk or the any of the dairy products, I think about the dairy farmer and how hard he worked. And that's a perspective we'll carry into the kitchen as we cook with dairy on this edition of Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures. Welcome back. We're in the kitchen now, and we've brought back some of the wonderful Louisiana dairy, and I am in the kitchen with my chef in training. How are you? I'm doing great. This wonderful is to be back. Right. And, and you know him. It's Commissioner Mike Strain, DVM. Welcome. Thank and you. We're going to do so much with the dairy today. But before we get started in the kitchen, tell me a little bit about our Louisiana dairy. Well, when you look at our Louisiana dairies, they're truly family affairs. Mm -hmm. And most of our dairy farmers have been dairying for generations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I first went into veterinary practice, and that's been like 30 years ago, for a number of years I did dairy practice. Okay. And you go out there and, and you see that, you know, the animals and the farms and the farmers you know, it's all, it's, they care for those animals so much. And when you drink our Louisiana products, right, mm -hmm. and whether it's in fresh milk, whether it's in cheeses and butters and all the wonderful things, you can really taste the flavor, the flavor of Louisiana. So what makes it so important to buy the dairy products that we well, produce as opposed to just getting it from anywhere around well, the Well, because number one, it's fresher. Okay. It's produced right here, right, mm -hmm. and it has the nutrients of Louisiana and the taste of Louisiana, and it also helps our dairy farmers. You know, the dairy business is over $75 million a year business, wow. and when you add the value to that, right, it puts mm -hmm. it into the hundreds of millions of dollars. So we're helping our local economy Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So you were telling me before about the taste of the fresh butter when you make it on oh, a yes. daily basis. Tell us about that. Well, you know, when I was young, on mm -hmm. our farm, we would make butter every night. Mm -hmm. You know, so what, what we would do, we had butter churns, right? Okay. We would take the fresh milk, and pasteurize it, and then we would make butter. Mm -hmm. And then this, I can tell you, I can still taste mama's biscuits with fresh homemade butter. And wow. you talk about the flavor. And if you've, you know, when you taste this, this wonderful Louisiana butter, right? And when you put that mm -hmm. on Louisiana food products, we got some wonderful stuff well, see, here. See, that's the thing that I love because I can't say that I've ever had the home churned butter mm -hmm. as, as mm -hmm. a child, but I can go to my local farmer's market, that's to right. some of the local grocers that carry what our farmers produce. That's right. And that I can get and that I can same tell you, taste. And I can tell you that, that, that creaminess, mm -hmm. that flavor. Mm -hmm. And you know, and, and when you take real butter, right? Uh -huh. Real butter. Real butter. And you put it on home cooking, right? Yeah. It is 
it's incredible. Like no, it. it's incredible. Right. It's incredible. Right. Now, speaking of the different products, I know we have uh, we have our buttermilks, we have our cheeses, uh -huh. we have yes. Creole cream cheese. Uh, tell us some other things because most people are just used to your regular cheddar cheese and That's things right. like well, that. So, what do we have? There are so many, so many different products. You mm -hmm. know, you can make. We have. Creole cottage cheese, Creole yes. cheese, cream cheese. You have your, your fresh butter. You have your soft cheeses, mm -hmm. your aged cheeses. And then you have so many products like pasta and many other things yes. that have milk in them. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't bake a cake without milk and eggs. And right. when you start looking at it, milk is in so many different things, mm -hmm. right? And when you like when, when you start looking at crawfish etouffee, right? right? And butter, right? You have butter. milk. Butter, oh, absolutely. eggs, you and, can make and, and so you, many different meals. And you see, I always keep some heavy cream, right, yeah. in the refrigerator uh -huh. when it's got to be just incredible. Mm -hmm. Or like we make our own eggnog you know, by the old French tradition. Okay. Yes, we, we make a hot so eggnog. So your house during the holidays, okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and my mother and my wife now makes the eggnog. Uh -huh. And it's a very special recipe that you have to do it just right. Mm -hmm. But it's made with our Louisiana milk and our Louisiana Cream. So speaking of Louisiana milk and creams, mm -hmm. let's talk about the cows. Yes. Now these are just not your average cows. I think these are some pampered, you know how you have what? pampered pooches? What? Yeah. I think we have pampered cows. We do have pampered cows. Uh -huh. Remember, happy cows make more milk. Okay. Those cows, you know, they go out and, and they eat the grass. They come in, they get a little snack of grain, right, as they're being milked. And they, they come up. And what's amazing about the cows, when they mm -hmm. come into the dairy barn, they're in order. They know their order. Oh, oh yes. Wow. Oh, they're in order. You know, in the farm, it's everything, and you know, they milk the cows, and the cows go back out. They're treated mm -hmm. very, very, very well. I can tell you, these farmers get very attached, mm -hmm. very, very attached, because they they mm -hmm. raised, you know, they raised the calves, so like the babies. replacements. They raise them by hand. Okay. You know, these these animals are raised by hand, and they incorporate it into the herd, and they live there a long, long time, right? And they're very, very gentle. And of course, you know, and when you think about it, they 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 willingly they walk into wow. the dairy barn in order. Now, folks, listen yes. to this. What about the noise level? There's no, you, oh, no, 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 you don't raise your voice. You don't, you, the <laughs> noise levels come. Most time there's, there's music playing, yeah. you know, just soothing music and uh -huh. everything is, is kept clean and calm. No, 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 no. No, there's no noise level. Everything is just nice and calm and steady. It's a, it's a very wonderful environment. And I used That's nice to always, know. you know, very when, nice when I treated dairy cows because they were so calm, mm -hmm. you know, and most of the time uh, you could just, you know, whatever you needed to do, you just walk up to them and you could do that. Really? You know, yes, yeah, someone would have their halt, hold their halter, and so, and, and they were very, very, very used to that, to whatever treatments they may need. Okay, well, we're going to take that knowledge right there. Uh -huh. And folks, we're going to take a short break, but we're going to get into cooking some of this cooking. wonderful dairy product. Hi, I'm Sean Johnson, Olympic gymnast. I was born with an APGAR score of zero, but I went on to win gold. Every baby deserves that chance to grow up and shine. That's what March of Dimes is all about. Help me and the March of Dimes fight premature birth and birth defects. Let's work together for stronger, healthier babies. To get involved or to make a gift, visit marchofdimes.com. What if a disaster strikes without warning? What if life as you know it has completely turned on its head? What if everything familiar becomes anything but? Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed today. Learn how at ready.gov. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just, I, there was a, I had, just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, smoke. Key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. The Dairy Industry Promotion Board has been in existence since its enactment by Louisiana Legislative Act in 1983. Lanny P. Connerly is the board chairman. We caught up with Lanny at his dairy farm in Kentwood to discuss the board. The uh, Dairy Promotion Board is made up of eight members. There's five from the southeastern uh, part of the 
stayed in three from the west of the river, and plus uh, Mike Strain, the Commissioner of Agriculture. And the primary purpose of the board is to promote uh, milk and dairy products, and it's to ensure that the Louisiana consumer has a good nutritious product and that they are aware of uh, the value of milk and, and dairy products and just how they fit into a lifestyle and how, how they help to maintain a healthy body. The Louisiana Dairy Board is charged with the promotion of milk and other products within the state of Louisiana. This job involves traditional media exposure and lots of site visits to schools and civic organizations. In addition to promotion, the board also works to ensure the procedures that ensure high quality production are adhered to. There's a lot of things that go into making sure that it's a high quality product. Uh, first of all, the uh, standards of the state board of health, we have to be met. But we also really have certain milking procedures and things to make sure that the milk is at the uh, highest quality. There's it's tested for so many things out. So we, we do the things that are really important to make sure the consumer has a, the very best quality product. There's a lot to know about Louisiana Dairy, and the Louisiana Dairy Board is a great source for that information. You can learn more about the Louisiana Dairy Board at GoDairy.com. Welcome back to Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures. I'm Chef Celeste, and I'm in the kitchen with Commissioner Mike Strain, and we're talking wonderful Louisiana dairy products. And uh, we, tell, us we, what, we, tell us what we're going to be doing. This all looks wonderful. Well, we're, we're going to make quite a few things here. Very good. You're going to start off with a nice cream cheese I spread. See that. that looks so beautiful. So it, it's nothing okay. more simple than that. So we're going to show you how easy it is to make. <laughs> and then we're going to make a, a wonderful creamy pasta dish. Very good. Then we're going to move over from there. And I'm just going to show you how to make a nice quiche that's going to have some of our wonderful cheeses good in day. there. And just a whole assortment. We're going to show you cheesecakes, buttermilk pies. We're going to show you just a, a nice assortment of things you can do with your butters. I mean, I can so just talk all day about this. Okay. So it's where do so we start? Exciting. Where do we start? We're going to start with you. Okay. Now, first, first off, I have, um, before we get to you, I have my pasta going because I want the pasta al dente uh -huh. and just uh -huh. to show you how you can multitask on this. So get that water going, get your pasta in okay. there. But now you have some cream cheese that's yes. at room temperature. Okay. We put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there. You have some cream in there. I'm going to add some bell peppers and you can just start mixing in there. Oh, there You're you gonna go. You're going to have some sun-dried tomatoes. Wow, wonderful. We're going to have some... Italian seasoning in there, lots of that in there. I need to add a little bit of my salt, pepper, and I love to use my John Pierre's. We're going to add a little bit of there all of go. that in there. there. You go. So you just start mixing. Start mixing away. it up. Okay. Uh huh. And okay. then we're going to add some okay. shredded cheddar on. cheese in there. Yep, because you're going to get down <laughs> and dirty with that one. You need some Parmesan cheese in there. And this could be something we can have the children do. Help yes, us you can with. have the children do that. Just think about getting the kids in the kitchen, having fun with them in there. And it's nothing better than supporting your local farmers, getting right. in here, having fun, and family They're making these fresh products. That's right. That's right. Getting in there, just, just get it done. And you can add whatever you like into your cream cheese. Cream cheese is so versatile. That's the thing that I love about it. So, tell me, what are some of your favorite recipes in the kitchen with de dealing with our dairy, dairy here? Well, I, I really like all the etouffees. Mm -hmm. I love that. Uh -huh. Of course, I, you know, of course, you know, around the holiday time, I love, I love eggnog. Yes. Okay, and, but I'm a big butter fan. Mm -hmm. I love butter on homemade biscuits, you know, and especially, and of course, on peas and mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. And of course, if you're going to saute mushrooms, right? I'm going to saute mushrooms. See, you're making me hungry. Yes. You have to, you have to start off, right? With mm -hmm. a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter? A little bit of butter. Well, I'll tell you Absolute, what. How about I put a little, look how nice, creamy, and yellow that is. Wonderful. My Wonderful. pan is hot. So we're going to get a nice little sizzle on there. There you go. Get some, this is going to be some brown butter. Look at that. Look at that color. Uh -huh. Coming in here. So uh -huh. now. And what are you going to saute? Going in? In oh, there, there you I'm go. I'm going to add my mushrooms in here. Some onions and bell pepper. And, and these, it goes a long way. Like I was telling you earlier, mm -hmm. you take 
our wonderful specialty crops here. We're using the dairy. You can add that to anything. We're going to add some cream in here. There you go. And, oh, you talk about a wonderful dish. And it's amazing how quickly you can cook these products. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look mm -hmm. at that. Now we're going to add the cream in here. Oh, and there this we one go. here, we have our milk. We have some heavy cream here. This one here is a little bit of coddled heavy cream. And I just love, look, look at the way that looks. That looks, looks like, oh yeah, there you go. add a little bit of that in there. Since we're multitasking, nice how's this rich. look? That looks really good. Very good. Really, Very I think good. I'm going to keep you in the kitchen. I think so. In between gigs. Because... <laughs> You have a very important job. I think I love your job also. I may have to tag along with you, you can so come I can see. Any, any, I can go see our pamper cows. Anytime you yeah. are ready to go. I mean, look at this. It This just, it looks good. It smells good. Our pasta is mm -hmm. ready. Let me turn that off. It, oh, it doesn't does have to good, take right? a long time to get in the kitchen and get your items cooked. It does, just does not have to take a long Look time at, the at all. The colors are coming out nicely. You can add more cheese in here if you want. Oh, and and if just, you want your children to eat it, yes. put some cheese in it. Right? That's right. Put a little cheese in That's it. right. Now, I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes in there here. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting some color going in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. how is yours tasting? You... Try that out. You may need a cracker. Let me give you a okay. cracker. Oh, yeah, absolutely. On. And we're going to see. This is the best part of and, my job. And folks, this is what you have to do. You <laughs> have to taste so you'll know if you need to you adjust do. your seasonings. So that's all we're doing. We're adjusting our seasonings. And what I want you to do is taste that. I'm going to mm -hmm. get a uh, plate here so I can show you what this pasta is going to look like. Very, I need to get my pasta. Very, phone. very good. Very good? We mm -hmm. have a winner there? Mm hmm. All right now. Mm. Now I'm going to take my pasta right out of here. There you go. And let that drain. And folks, and al dente, al dente to the tooth. Is that yes, correct? Yes, very nice. Very now, one thing that I like to tell people also if uh -huh. you put some dried herbs on your pasta when you mm -hmm. take it out, yes, it's not going to stick. Oh, and then that way, we're going to put a nice little dollop of that. Okay, okay. let me show you what else we're going to do here. Okay. Got some dried herbs going on here. Okay, we oh. need this to be a little richer. Can we hold up now? Everything in moderation. So, <laughs> when you see me adding all this butter. Uh -huh. All in moderation. All in moderation. We're mm -hmm. not going to eat like this every day. We're just going to put a little bit on our biscuits and things oh, like that. Oh, there you go. Look oh, at wow. That. We're going to pour that on top. Is that beautiful or that what? That is a nice Look at dish. That. You can add that meat in beautiful. there if you want to. Look at but the color. That has my mouth watering already. 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 But you don't need anything mm -hmm. there. So let's set that over to the side. Okay. Because I have another dish that I want us to do also. Look at now that. Now huh? we're going to take. Wow. Even more, we're going to turn this off. Okay. And Commissioner, I'm going to move over to your side. So okay. can we push I'll this swap. up here? Let's. Okay. Nope, you're going to work for me. Oh, okay. I can so do that come too. On. Let's put pour all of this in your dish. Okay. Now I'm going to take my eggs, and we're going to make a little mini quiche. Okay. And you're going to stir all in here, so folks, you can see how this is going to be a okay. one dish wonder. I'm going to okay. crack eggs in here while you're doing that. And you just keep stirring. And that takes talent. And blend all these in together. Drop those in there. Okay. Oh, you're doing pretty good there. Yes. Yeah. And this is just a nice, simple, it can be a breakfast dish, mm -hmm. or you can turn this into a main meal. Just all you have to do is just add some salad to the mix, and you're good. All right, stir that up for okay. me, please. A little bit more herbs going in there. Okay. Got the herbs in there. Let's put some more onions, bell peppers, and mushrooms. And then guess what else has to go in there? A heavy cream. Heavy cream. There and go. cheese. That cheese. There we go. A little bit of cream in there. Ooh, oh, look at look that. At look that. at that. Is that look beautiful that. or what? Yes. Now, lots of cheese. Lots of cheese. Lots going of cheese. In. Okay. And you can do this with a crust. You can mm -hmm. make it without a crust. It just really depends on what you want to have in there. So, folks, just get in there, play with your ingredients, because that. as long Again. as you have the main three, which mm -hmm. is your eggs, your milk, and your butter, you're all set. But let me pull one out of the oven okay. and show you what it's going to look like. Quick. That's right. We're going to put that one in the oven, and okay. we're going to take one that was in a pie shell out of the oven. So. Okay. There yes. we go. One in. Oh, is that beautiful? Huh? And one out. One out. One in. Very nice. One now, out. folks, it is as simple Ooh. as that. 
So we're gonna take another little break here and we are gonna let you, we're gonna come back, mm. recap, and taste. Does that smell good, right? Uh -huh. So this is my computer. This is your computer. Let's go on the internet. Let's go. Click it. Yes. Okay. I cursor in between the R and the E. Racing dot. I want you to just push the period. She's gonna love me all over again. That's it. Jamaica, here you go. Here we go. <laughs> Good right. job. Thank you. Thank you. And I did it by myself. Feel smarter. Ready to go? Yeah, but the uh, fire's not out. Close enough. Huh. Close enough? If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. I, I mean, the next thing you know, you've torched our whole neighborhood. Which is why we're not going anywhere? Exactly. Nine out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Up, college is hard, down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. Right up so every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. <laughs> my name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Grazing cows are milked inside a dairy, a large barn on a dairy farm. The actual process of milking a cow is standardized to ensure quality and healthfulness right from the moment of extraction. It's a process we saw when we visited Lanny's Dairy Farm in Kentwood. Well, the cows uh, have been laying out there since they grazed this morning. They have access to hay and water and, and seem to be resting comfortably in this nice uh, day. But they will come up and go into a holding pen where they have a pressure washer that will wash their udders. It's kind of a pre-wash. And then when they come in the barn, they are provided feed. And they will be, if they need to be washed further, be cleaned very good. That process is taken care of. They are dried off. They are dipped with an iodine-based tit dip to kill any bacteria that's on the tip and then wiped off again. Milk is stripped from each quarter and they're allowed about 30 seconds to let their milk down. And then the machines, the uh, attachments are put on their teats and the milk's harvested. It takes five or six minutes to do that. It goes into a pipeline, never touched by hand, and goes into a cooling area, a cooling tank. And then after it's taken off, the uh, when the milk is completed, the units are detached and they're dipped again with a what's called a barrier tit dip. It's a thicker tip that'll stay on the tit longer and prevent organisms from entering the tit. And, and the milk is taken in there and cooled down to about 37, 38 degrees until it's picked up by a tanker truck to go to be processed. Welcome back to Cooking Up Louisiana Treasures. I'm Chef Celeste, and again, I'm in the kitchen with Commissioner Mike Strain, and we have done such a wonderful you job have. here. Isn't this incredible, if we may say so huh? ourselves. Isn't that incredible? That's right. We started off with our local Louisiana dairy products. We had our creams, our milk, our cheeses, and our, our butter. Butters. And man, does this transform into some wonderful items. Tell us what we have. Well, we have our pasta dish here, our creamy pasta dish. We yes. did two versions of yes, it here. One has a little bit of seafood in here. Then mm -hmm. we have one that we just sauteed down with lots of butter and herbs, spices, and mushrooms, mushrooms and, and onions. Incredible. So we, we, you can cover mm -hmm. everybody mm -hmm. with this here. Uh -huh. Then we move over to our cream cheese dip and you added some nice herbs and spices in there. It was so simple, so simple. a matter of minutes. So simple. Right, you made that. Mm -hmm. So we have that. Now we have our quiche yes. that we have our wonderful cream in, our cheeses oh, in here. What a here. breakfast dish. That's huh? right. It can be a great breakfast great? dish. Uh -huh. then, then it doesn't only have to be savory dishes. We have our eggs, our milk, our cream, and our cream cheese. We have cheesecake here. 
Then we also uh -huh. have a buttermilk pie. A buttermilk so, pie. Buttermilk now that pie. sounds good. Right. Now Ooh. think about, we could we can cook all day with dairy. We could make bread puddings, whatever mm -hmm. you like. So you can go from savory to sweet and in between And think here. about setting your table at home with these fresh Louisiana products with you and your family. I can mm -hmm. tell you, you know, that your children would just dive into this. And exactly. And of course, mom and dad too. Well, you know what we're going to do? We gonna sample? Yeah, we're gonna sample. We're gonna dive in. Oh, that's the so, best time. I've already put some of the um, okay. some of the quiche on there. We have that's some potato fine. salad Thank just to you. fill. Thank well, you. let me use yours for just a second because I got to give you some pasta. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stir this pasta up real Very quick good. here. Uh -huh. Give you a little bit of that on your plate. So glad your plate is right here. A little bit on my plate. Uh -huh. This is the beautiful thing about fettuccine. It's just I like mine nice and long. Then that way you have you fun go. while you you're go. eating it. Okay. And then you can dig into a little bit. Try your, your cream cheese. See what you like about your cream cheese oh. and your crackers. Because that was your creation right there. I know. And I know. I have to. Let me I get some mushrooms on here. I did myself. sample some before you oh, come. Oh, you did? I did. Uh oh. Well, mm. that's what mm. happens when you're mm. in the kitchen. Mm. That's right. So, so mm, what does it taste like? What does that cream cheese? That well, how delicious. does that feel? It's smooth. It's a lot of texture, but you can taste all the all the different herbs and spices that's mm -hmm. in there. Just absolutely delicious. Okay, so and that's the thing I like—the richness of cream cheese. It just gives it a mm -hmm. nice feel to it. So yeah, we're gonna dig into our crawfish and cheese pie. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The cream. The best part of the show. Adds a lightness to it, so I like that. It does. Mm -hmm. It's very and good. And then the cheese rounds it out, holds it together. You can taste mm -hmm. all the ingredients. You can taste the crawfish. Mm -hmm. Let's try the pasta. Now, what I'm going to try here in the pasta mm -hmm. are the mushrooms. Because mushrooms will pick up whatever flavor you give it. And remember, mm. we had that butter in here. Mm -hmm. And we added a little bit of the cream in here. So you're really going right. to find it. And, and you browned your butter as mm -hmm. you start, and you put those mushrooms mm -hmm. in there. And again, you put so your it really herbs brings it all together. That is absolutely so. For those of incredible. us that are not fortunate enough to have mm -hmm. a uh, dairy cow yes. at home, mm -hmm. where can we find these wonderful Louisiana products? Well, you can go to your grocers mm -hmm. areas. You can go to your farmers markets, mm -hmm. and you will find fresh Louisiana products. Mm -hmm. And wherever you, whatever grocery you go to, wherever store, look for where it says. Louisiana products, product Louisiana, pick those products up. Yes. And of course, you can go to your farmer's markets and you can get your butters. There's cheeses. There's so many of these products mm -hmm. together. And remember, when you buy Louisiana products, it tastes better. It lasts longer. And it's good for you. And it's you. good for you and it's good for your family and it's good for our farmers too. And it just doesn't get any better than <laughs> well, this. Well, that is so true. So we're going to let you finish up. Thank Folks, you. you try this at home and make sure you check out our YouTube channel so you can see more episodes that we've already taped, the ones you might have missed or you want to record. And also stay tuned for more of our Louisiana products coming out.